Sorry about the noise, but it's going to be necessary for this tip, uh, the air compressor. If any of you guys have ever tried to put one of these foam uh, sleeves onto an AR pistol buffer tube, they give you this foam because you can't put a buttstock on it that helps you with your cheek weld. Well, they're, they're terrible to try and get on. You get them on just a little bit and they don't want to go anywhere. Sorry about the noise, but it's going to be necessary for this tip, uh, the air compressor. If any of you guys have ever tried to put one of these foam uh, sleeves onto an AR pistol buffer tube, they give you this foam because you can't put a buttstock on it that helps you with your cheek weld. Well, they're, they're terrible to try and get on. You get them on just a little bit and they don't want to go any farther. It's, you know, you squeeze to try and get a grip and you just make it harder. Take an air compressor. Put that nozzle down in there, get your hand around it. What you're going to do is just blow, get a seal. And it will allow you to get it down. Just like that. Sometimes they go, they just slide right over. That one give me a little bit of trouble. But that's how you can get one of these foam tubes on there. It's just by using compressed air to blow it down in there and it'll expand it and let it float right down over there.